the line Versace. Is that Elemental Book? Uh, no, stop talking to me I like that. that when we're on TV. Is this really, you're revealing all of the secret conversations. Hello and welcome back. This is Trending SA on SABC3 and we are online on SA, trending, mm -hmm, TrendingSA.TV. It was a glitch in the system. None of you even saw that. All right, so in just eight months, our MCM went from being a, a relatively unknown artist to one of the biggest winners at the 2018 South African Music Awards. Since the release of his chart-topping single, Akana Mali, he has become unstoppable, releasing hit after hit. His debut album is titled Africa to the World, and he's taking the South African sound to the world, wowing audiences around the globe with his incredible music. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the very talented Sun El Musician. <laughs> Welcome, Dr. Kai. Welcome, Sanela, to Training SA. I read somewhere that you um, you grew up in Midlands, eh, KwaZulu Natal. Yes. Tell us about that. Were you like a goat herder or going Malusi? Tell us about your life growing up. Uh, no, I was just. Uh, I am from the Midlands, the Moy River. Okay. A very uh, small, beautiful town. Um, no Malusing. Ah, uh, no, no, no. I was I'm a Zulu geek. Uh, that's what I would just call myself. A Zulu geek. <laughs> that's so cool. You're right. Uh, just I uh, really love my electronics. I. Uh, and music, obviously. So yeah, that's that's who I am, basically. Yeah, beautiful. So you're enrolled at the University of KwaZulu Natal. Are you gonna go study in the sciences? Yeah. And like many of us, just me, um, you didn't <laughs> pass your first year, or you decided not to carry on with your studies and rather pursue a, a career in music. What what made that happen? Uh, first of all, uh, it's just. Uh, uh, the guys who uh, just graduates uh, from my local uh, hometown, you know, just they they got their degrees and they couldn't find jobs. I was like, so I'm gonna spend three years and, and a lot of money, like 21 grand a, a year. So I couldn't uh, take that. So I was like, I kind of convinced my grandma to uh, just do my thing on music. And uh, first year I was there, I just really lost interest. As I was there for the first year, I was like, I went to the first party actually. Um, and, then and then I was like, this is actually what I really want to do. Mm. So, yeah, that's when I decided to really leave school, yeah, which is weird. And it was really hard for my grandma to understand because mm. the only thing she knows, like, go to uh, get a degree, get a job. Yeah. And, yeah the normal, may may like, I jump in here quickly? How long ago was this? Because we've been saying that it's been the last eight months that you've exploded. So when was all of this varsity and all of this happening? Yeah, about 2007. Wow. wow. So it takes a while to become an overnight success, no? Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. It took about eight years. So in the making of the music, uh, you're very big in the house circles. You've yeah. produced for quite a number of prominent people, like Suzek Bantwini, as well as Busi. Yeah. But how did you get into it? So here you are, Namanganbaku, Nomana Machita, Niplomile, Nienzu Music. But how do you then develop that into Indo Ezoba? Uzik Spanjuno I want that. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm uh, from Mutemo. Uh, mm. Mutemo is from the same hometown. Okay. Uh, so... I, this was uh, a plan for me, you know, it's in, in the thing I think I've I found like, oh, you know, I've got this type of music or mm. whatsoever. So I kind of worked with hometown young with Bam Chelo Temo whenever he's, he's around. He's around, yeah. And then Bam Chelo hey, there's this young boy, he's actually good. So when I rocked up to Temo, I had a DVD of music where I'm like mixes, you name it, remixes. Right, yeah. More right. I mean, right. <laughs> <laughs> I had a DVD, I gave it to him, I was really impressed. He called me on his way back to Johannesburg. He was like, are you sure you produced this music? I was like, wow. Yeah. Awesome. And did you go to school? I was like, no, I just, it's just the thing I, I'm really passionate about. So mm. yeah, that's how everything happened. And then I started working with Busi, first artist I've ever recorded professionally. What song was this? I do get Oh, wow. Yeah. I. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> I see time in the game, B. So, I'm not just doing the game. That makes sense. No, no, no. Have you finished or can I continue? <laughs> 
Lala, um, <laughs> tell us about the smash hit. Then came the smash hit. Agana Mali, yeah. tell us about that collaboration. How did that come about? Many Lele, and then while wow, you turn around, you turn over, rolled over. What did put him as in the Lengoma? How how did that come about? I uh, was in Soweto DK. Uh, uh, Sam Bezo Pinchi Akusiashezi. Okay. And they actually made me listen to some of his stuff, and I was really impressed. And I was like, guy, you sound like the soil. And I was like, no, I was part of the soil. He told me the story. Mm. And then I was like, okay, that's cool. Uh, and then I made him listen to my yeah. music as well. So I was like, hey, dude, let's hit the studio. And then that's how we did the whole thing. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Talent. Yeah. Wow. Just so. so listen, um, from Africa to the world, right? You put this album together and you work with these relatively, in some spaces, uh, unknown artists, yeah. uh, Mlindo the singer, um, Sin, is it Simi? Simi, yeah. Simi. Yeah. Um, but then, is there a reason? But okay, we, we know uh, something, Soweto. Yeah. But is there a reason that when you work with relatively unknown or unestablished artists as opposed to just, you know, go, you know phoning Cuesta? Yeah, uh, <laughs> De you know. definitely. Yeah, it's just easier to work with an artist that is doesn't have Grammys or whatsoever. Oh, wow. Uh, it's just easier to be, to control and uh, not... Open necessarily controller control, when I'm on, Not necessarily control, <laughs> but it's, it's just easier to connect with an artist who's not been there or who knows that I can make a song, win awards mm -hmm. whatsoever. So mm -hmm. it's just, it worked out for me that way. It just, it was not a thing. I tried calling guys and they're not really responding to the whole vibe. Okay, so there must be a dream artist though, a dream voice that you imagine <laughs> yeah. on your beat. So maybe two or three that you'd like to drop right now. Put it into the universe. Yeah, Shikana. Right? Oh, yeah. Yes. 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 It must yes. happen. Yes. Definitely. I, uh, actually, she's one artist that I've really wanted to work with. Okay. For now. All right. Yeah. All right. So nice. you're, you're aiming for the one. Yeah. Actually, we actually in Kona, we are chatting right now on WhatsApp. And Don't say that. We want to take the glory that yeah. yes, we'll send it on yeah. the show Ooh. and then it happens. Okay, thank you. They'll Great. edit so, at that point. We spoke about <laughs> taking Africa to the world. Yeah. Uh, but I think the world is already receiving Africa through you because yeah. Swiss Beats uh, has a little video of his son dancing to your music. Yeah. All right, let's have a look at it for those that haven't seen it. Dancing. Hey, hey, hey. This your song? Hey. One, two, three. Hey. Ah! You are wow. the no <laughs> So that was dancing. For those that don't know, little children under the age of three do not have rhythm. They just do things. Okay. Right. So I don't know which children you. You know. see that video. Wow. People tag you. I'm sure. Yeah. And you're like, hey, what is this? Yeah. Tell us how from video to you, Uhambuya, America. Yeah. Oh. How did that happen? Uh, uh through Casper. Uh, uh, ah. yes. Yeah. Oh, no, oh. on Twitter. He actually sent me a DM. <laughs> Uh, which was really strange. I was like, maybe this is a parody account, and maybe this wow. is a parody account. <laughs> wow. And then he's uh, on the DM, said, so just send me your numbers, and then he called me, and then he told me that Swiss is actually, Swiss and Alicia are uh, looking for son of a musician. Wow. Which is the most strangest thing you could ever. Uh, I mean, so what happened is, there? Yeah, yeah, tell us what happened. Uh, we f I flew to uh, 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 New York. Mm. Mm. Uh, Quite freezing. It was, uh, it was a snowstorm, mm -hmm. and we went on a holiday, somewhere on vacation, mm -hmm. and they couldn't land back uh, in America. So they only got back on one Thursday. I was there on Monday, so only were there on Thursday, and I had to leave on Saturday, which was very strange because we couldn't work on a song like that. That quickly, quick. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But we did work on a couple of songs together, and they were really impressed. And it was just strange for to have Alicia Keys sitting nice. there, and then she's telling me, "Ah, oh, Sanella, what is your thought process when you're working on the song?" Mm. And like, oh. it was really, really weird. And I couldn't yeah. work well whilst she was there, so I had to ask her to leave, no. <laughs> <laughs> so I could actually work on the song. So yeah. Yes. Nice. You know, I'm quite touched because we don't want to glorify anyone over. Africans, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But there was a time where we didn't imagine that our talent could take us around the mm, world and right. could put us in those spaces. Yeah. And you, here you are, a young <laughs> guy, and you're, you're putting South African music on the map in a, in a magnificent way. Um, 
So somebody's watching now who also has a musical talent, right. maybe even doesn't have a musical talent, has another talent. Yeah. What would you say to them to, to get themselves in a position similar to where you are yeah. um, empowering yourself? Ah, there's a, uh, first of all, let me just mention this. It took me about eight years to get to make a run of that type of song. And, mm. and it was just because of I didn't have a plan. Um, I didn't have a team. And I was not working hard enough for, for whatever sure. I wanted nice. to achieve. So those are mm -hmm. like three things that changed about my life. Pale, and it kind of worked out for me. So That's yeah. amazing. Oh, I think you said a mouthful yeah. right That's there. That's a lot. Uh, thank you very much for being thank here. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm checking it again. <laughs> okay. Are we still crushing? <laughs> yep. Yeah. I that think we're crushing more, no? That is yeah. correct. He can Go. hear you. Oh, sorry. Oh. Uh, thank you very much, Sir <laughs> <Sanel> Music. <laughs> 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 we'll take an ad break now. We'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs>